The 1800s saw an explosion in research and understanding in many areas of science, particularly electricity and magnetism. Many things that we've observed in the natural world, we've started to be able to harness and understand, including these electrons moving through the air between the wires. As the electrons move, they break down the air, resulting in heat and light, just like lightning as electricity moves through the air in a storm. And if the spark is lightning, the snapping sound that you hear is thunder. One of the great discoveries was electromagnetic induction. In 1831, Faraday created the first electric generator. A magnet moving near coils of wire will induce electricity or a current inside that wire. We can use that to power things like light bulbs. This is clearly quite difficult, but the same idea is exactly what we use now in larger scale to provide power. A big question, of course, is how do we store this power that we're creating? One way is by using this apparatus right here called a Leiden jar. It's different from a battery, which stores energy in the form of chemical potential energy and discharges that energy over time. This is a capacitor. It's going to give off all of its power all at once. By the 1890s, discoveries were progressing rapidly. In 1897, J.J. Thompson discovered the electron. Those electrons, or electric current, <laughs> creates the spark that you can see. However, this apparatus, the Tesla coil, is also creating something we cannot see with our eyes. Moving through the air, influencing the gas inside this tube. This Tesla coil is giving off radio waves, the same radio waves that will lead to radio and TV signals that we use today. <laughs> 